The duration trigger identifies a trigger condition by looking for the duration of a specified pattern. The scope triggers when the duration time of this pattern meets the preset time. This video will show you how to use the duration trigger. Let's configure a function generator like the Regal DG4000 series to output two signals. Channel 1 will be a 500 Hz, 5 volt peak to peak with 20% duty cycle. And channel 2 will be 1 kHz, 5 volt peak to peak with a 50% duty cycle. Now let's connect the signals channel 1 and 2 to the DS2000 series oscilloscope. Now let's press the auto key. You'll see that the scope will choose channel 2 as the trigger source. And then channel 2 is stable, but channel 1 is not. Now select duration trigger. Let's set the code pattern of each channel to high, low, or X. Here we set both of the two channels as high, which configures the trigger to latch when the voltage level is higher than the threshold level of that channel. Now let's press when button to set the trigger condition as greater, lower, or greater and lower. Here we'll choose greater, which means the trigger will happen when the duration of the pattern is greater than the preset time. Now let's press time to set that preset time. Since the smaller pulse width of the two signals is 400 microseconds, we can set a shorter time interval to get a stable trigger. Now both of the signals are triggered at the same level points. Note that if we set a longer time, such as 500 microseconds, the trigger is not stable. This concludes our introduction to the duration trigger function of the Regal DS2000 series. The key points to remember, you want to set the basic parameters of the scope, choose the duration of the trigger, Set the code pattern for each of the channels, select the proper trigger conditions for your input signal, and then set the time frame.